Hey, what's up? Welcome to another video. Um, today, I plan on going ahead and getting the bottom of the car uh, primed. So every floor pans and the frame rails, all of that primed with uh, this, where is it at? Uh, some self-etching primer. And once I get the bottom of the car painted, I'm gonna have to wait like 24 hours for that to fully cure. Uh, but then I'm gonna go ahead and start seam sealing everything. So I got the Eastwood seam sealer, some paint brushes there. But I'm gonna go ahead and seam seal, of course, all uh, everywhere that there are seams. So up in there, around everywhere where I welded, especially up in here, need to make that look pretty. So down, around, and, and down again. I uh, need to make that look pretty. And uh, all through here, everywhere, where you can see that I've welded and metal's been put in. Um, if you look, uh, had a little bit of an issue here. It looks like the uh, internal frame rail coating did not like the primer on top of it. I'm not sure. These are some isolated areas, just these two where it kind of cracked up and blew off whenever I was uh, using the air gun. Because I was using the, uh, I was using a scotch Brite pad and going over this, knocking all the uh, overspray off. So it's actually pretty smooth now. And you wanna go, you wanna uh, hit the areas where you're gonna uh, use the seam sealer and, and clean them up a little bit. So I went over these and I took the air gun, blew it out, and these kind of came up. So I made sure that it's not gonna come up anywhere else. Um, and it should be fine. There's one spot on the other side right there where it came up but it's fine these areas are going to be seam sealed so and you know what it's it's going to do so let's go ahead and get the bottom of the car painted and then i'm going to go ahead and start taping up uh where i want the seam sealer to go because if you want it to look pretty you tape it up and then you put the seam sealer in your your groove and then you can pull the tape off to give you a nice, uh, nice clean edge. So first let's get the uh, bottom of the car painted. Okay, forgive the fan noise, but gotta have some way to push the, uh, the paint fumes out. So we're under the car and uh, there's the frame rail. All that metal there has gotta be painted. Um, there's underbody coating up here. I'm just gonna paint the bare metal and this underbody coating, I'm going to go over it with actual underbody coating some more. So all of this and all the way back, that's what I'm going to be spraying. Um, yeah, it's pretty tight under here, so I can't get the best view. But uh, you'll see. Okay, so I just got uh, the whole thing painted. Um, kind of hard to see in the camera, but it's pretty dry now. It's kind of like a greenish color, kind of gray. I don't know. I guess it's kind of gray, uh, but it's all covered. Uh, I, of course, didn't do up in there. That's all going to be underbody coating, so no reason to spray up and cover all that. Um, let's go over some more. But all of it's covered, so I'm gonna go ahead and let all of this dry. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, prepping the seams on the top side for the, uh, the seam sealer. Let's go ahead and get that done. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tape up all these seams, uh, put a piece of tape on both sides of it, uh, so that way it leaves a nice smooth, e smooth edge for the uh, seam sealer.
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and only do one side at a time. So I've got all of this uh, taped up and I've got the, the seam seal ready. Um, I've also got some uh, mineral spirits here to put on my finger and I'm gonna use that. It's gonna uh, make it a little bit easier and uh, pliable to uh, make smooth whenever I lay it down. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Okay, so I pretty much just got done doing this, so I'm going to go ahead and try and pull the tape off now because uh, I definitely don't want it to dry and the tape still be on there, so let's go ahead and pull the tape off. Alright, so just got done pulling all the tape off and it looks pretty good. I'm glad I uh, glad I took the time to use the tape and uh, mask it off. Makes it look real clean. Um, definitely using the uh, mineral spirits on my finger and, and going over it makes it pretty uh, pliable. It makes a nice smooth line. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the, the hump here and there and then I mean get the other side taped off and, and ready to go I uh, definitely learned a few other tricks uh, I need to pull the tape off sooner uh, that's why I was kind of pulling the uh, seam sealer with it because it dried a little bit too much so definitely need to pull it off quicker and uh, go from there So time to go ahead and start this side. So for some reason my SD card keeps messing up, so I lost a little bit of footage there. Uh, but basically I got it all seam sealed. All the way up under there, all the way down the side, basically everything is done on the inside. Looks pretty good. There's that side. Got that covered and across the uh, trans tunnel there and there. And so yeah, the inside is done. Um, I also went ahead and did this here. Um, just taped it up and put the seam sealer in there. I actually didn't put any tape along that the firewall. I did that all by hand because if I use tape, I mean there's no way I could get a perfect angle. 
piece of tape like that so I just risked it and just used my finger and went real slow and that's how it came out so uh, that is that now I'm gonna wait because uh, I'm still in the same day that I painted the underbody so that needs to cure for 24 hours before I put this stuff on um, and then I'll go ahead and do the inner fender um, this stuff in here and as well as on the other side there's a lot of seam seal stuff I got to do um, on the underside if this side looks a little scuffed up it is because I was kind of bored and I started prepping it for the underbody coating um, but yeah now it's basically time to go ahead and do the uh, bottom side um, and I've got the brushable seam sealer I'm probably gonna use um, it says gray um, I guess that's what I bought I thought it was black, but looks like it's going to be gray, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so I wasn't gonna film this because I was just out here piddling around on the car um, until I get started with this, but it is the next day. Um, so yeah, there's a crack here uh, from Bondo, and same on the other side because this is a new roof. The previous owner put a new roof on it. I don't know why. There's a crack here, you can see it. And then there's a, some rust here, so I took the wire wheel and I found a hole. And there's a crack here, so I've been kinda hitting at this so I figured you guys might want to might enjoy watching me uh, try and get this up Woo. look at all that bondo Woo, man oh my god this should be fun So this is their uh, repair and their roof that they just didn't do a good enough job um, prepping it and I guess putting Bondo on it. So I'm going to have to uh, feather this out, redo it, and uh, just do a better job and fill this in. So, All right, enough of that. All right, back to work. So I've got the whole uh, bottom side of the car and it, basically everywhere where there's a seam. I've got it uh, sanded down with red scotch bright uh, And then I just cleaned it off with some mineral spirits So everything is good to go and clean here on the car. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, brushable brushable seam sealer um, I've got another tube of this But I'm just gonna go ahead and brush it on. It's not gonna look as pretty, but who cares? It's going to uh, be uh, it's going to have uh, underbody coating over it just as long as it uh, gets where it needs to go and does its job it'll be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this together. Hopefully these brushes I got are uh, strong enough to apply that but we'll go ahead and see. And it is gray so uh, let's get to work. Alright so here's what it looks like. All right, so that was a little bit more painful than I thought. Um, the stuff is just uh, super sticky and gooey, so the paintbrush doesn't work too well. So I just kind of used my finger there. Um, but you know, it turned out pretty good. Covered what I need to cover. Um, but yeah, so you know, I, I basically just need to go ahead and uh, do this to the rest of the car. And uh, it's gonna take a while, so it should be fun. And I'm probably just gonna end up using the paintbrush more and then just leveling out with my finger. Uh, but yeah, time to go ahead and get under the car and do everything. So I will show you guys what it's like afterwards. Okay, so I finished all of the seam sealing. Um, the last part you saw, I was, uh, 
I kind of gave up on the brush method and then kind of just used my finger with it. The, uh, the brush on stuff, I mean, it dried fine and it looks good, uh, but it just took a long time. So I opened up the other tube of black, as you can see down there. I opened up the other tube, tube of black and I just used that in my finger and went and pretty much finished all of the bottom and uh, basically finished with that. So I've got a lot of extra uh, brushable left, um, but here is this side. Kind of did all up in there. And we'll go ahead and uh, roll under the car here. Hopefully you guys can see. But there's a, a good section of it. Did all along the uh, frame rail and angle iron. I didn't plan on doing this area here, but you know I had a lot extra left and um, definitely don't want any getting in between the, uh, the floor pan and the frame rail and getting in. So I went ahead and uh, sealed all of that as well. So that is pretty good and it looks good. It's kind of upside down, but there's that. There's that there. A little bit here. It's super tight in here, so I'm trying to give you the best view I can. Some over there. A lot back in this area. Do the best I can. Up over here on the other side. Yeah, you pretty much get the uh, get the idea just everywhere I weld in there's a seam pretty much covered up and definitely definitely up along where the uh, floor pan meets the rocker put a nice good bead along there and push it up in um, making sure it gets all the way up in there so that part looks pretty good this side too it's a little dark but all that and all the way up to the top so that's the bottom side took quite a bit of time um, but it looks good and uh, hopefully it's it's gonna last so you know I'm pretty pleased with it I had never done this before a lot of first times so um, you know just one step closer to, uh, to get it on the road. So appreciate you guys watching and uh, see you in the next one. See you later.